welcome to my channel. This video I didn't really have time to prepare for. I had to work this morning. It I had to take and fill in for somebody that had that called in had had car troubles. The background of myself about myself. I am a delivery driver for a pizza restaurant here in Topeka. I have Sundays and Wednesdays off, and that's the time that I do my videos. This morning, I, as I say, I had to fill in for another driver, and that gives me a little bit more money to spend for my trips out to Los Angeles. It gives me more money to spend to pay off my credit card debts so that I can go to Los Angeles. As you see, I'm filming from the from my new favorite filming location, which is in the hallway of my apartment apartment. This is I don't know what very much to say, but one thing that I, I took in had a video that of things I'll miss about living here in Topeka. One of the things I'm gonna miss big time that I I should say I won't miss about oh living here in this apartment is bed bugs. Yes, I have bed bugs in my apartment. Management won't do anything about it. They've sprayed once. They didn't it didn't do anything to cure the problem. So I've been fighting it with things that I can fight it with and I just cannot wait to get out of this apartment, get out of Topeka, get away from the management company that we have here in Topeka for for all of the apartment buildings here in the ta in city in the city of Topeka. They are the worst as I showed you, the damage, the black mold, the damage to the, that they don't fix in the, in this building. But I digress, digress about that. Something I'm looking forward to is my new life in Los Angeles. I know that it seems like a dream, but it, it, for me, it really isn't a dream. I see a lot of opportunity out in, this, in the city of Los Angeles. Yes, I know there's going to be hardships in the, fr in the beginning, but I think it's going to be a big re reward. One of the things that it's kind of weird right now. I've been out there three times. I've been, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've, it's kind of weird watching stuff on television and saying, I've been there. I've seen that. I've done it. To watch a, a, a TV show and see the, some of the scenery that I've seen in real life is is weird. It, it it's 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 surreal to, to to think that I've been there. I've done walked in those areas. I've driven in some of those areas. But to take and think about the new my new life out there is going is is it's exciting and scary at the same time. I am excited to be able to take and be able to see on a daily basis the Hollywood sign, downtown LA, the the studios in, in Hollywood. I am excited to be able to go to places that I've never thought I'd be able to go to. I've, I've, I've never thought I'd be 
be able to go to to, to Warner Brothers, to Universal. I never thought I'd be able to go to Disneyland. I've been to those places. I know what they are like. But to see, but to think about living there amongst all that stuff, all those buildings, all those studios, all the people out there driving the three ways. It is it it is exciting, but it is also scary. I don't know what job I'm going to be doing. I don't know where I'm going to be living yet. It is it's it's scary at at, at age fifty one. If well, yeah, at age fifty one. It's scary to think about a new life at this age. But I am willing to do it. I am willing to sacrifice. To see, to take and see what is it takes to move to the big city of L.A. Yes, I could have gone to New York. I could have gone to, to Orlando. I could have gone to Dallas. To Minneapolis. I chose L.A. It, it it's 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 scary, but yeah, I think that I have made the right choice. I have made the ultimate sacrifice in my life to take and start anew. As you seen in a cup in one of my other videos. I am sacrificing a lot of, prop of my property. I am giving away a lot. I am selling a lot. This apartment built, this apartment by April 1st of next year will be empty. I am going to get rid of a lot more stuff. It doesn't bother me. I don't use it. I don't want it. Why should, why should I have it if I'm not going to use it? You're going to see a lot more empty rooms in future videos. This, as I say, this apartment is going to get cleaned out. All I'm taking is a few clothes and a few belongings that mean a lot to me. All the rest, I don't care. It is, it's just stuff. I've seen a video where uh, the, another YouTuber cleaned out his apartment, his house, where he was living in, uh, in Los Angeles to go out and travel the country. I'm doing the same. I'm doing the same to move out to Los Angeles and start and build up a new life. Yeah, at 51. But I can do it. I know I can do it. If I moved to Topeka in 2001 and eked out a, a life here in Topeka, I know I can do it in Los Angeles. It's been a it's been a wonderful 18 years here in Topeka. I've met a lot of friends, as I said on Facebook. I've met a lot of friends. I've done a lot. I've worked for Sears. I worked for Walmart. I worked for a restaurant called Spangles. I worked for Target Distribution Center here in Topeka. I worked for Big Heart or Smuckers here in Topeka. I worked for American Eagle in Ottawa, driving back and forth from Topeka. And I and I'm working for Domino's right now. But I know I can make it in Los Angeles. It's gonna be a struggle, but I know that once I get out there, things will be and once I get out there and be and start living my life out there, I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I just have to get 
out there, get the support that I need, and move and move on. As I say, this this apartment's going to get cleaned out, and April first of two thousand one in two thousand twenty, Topeka. I love Topeka, but I won't have to say goodbye. It's it's a long time coming, but I just need to get out of this city. This city is draining me. It is draining me financially. It is draining me spiritually. It is draining me physically. I can't deal with it anymore. When I when I went and went to Los Angeles in April, I found a whole different side of me. And Mar and December, the same thing. I found a whole different side of me come out. In March of this year. That side of me is just came out big time, and it just it felt good. It felt good to be eat to be able to walk the streets of Los Angeles unafraid, unafraid of being on the streets of Los Angeles. When I was totally afraid of being in that city in the first place. If you would have told me five years ago you would be walking in, the, in Los Angeles. I would have just laughed in your face. As I said on my Facebook blog. My Facebook post. But. Now. I am confident that I can walk. On Hollywood Boulevard. Wilshire Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard, you name the street in Los Angeles, I know that I can put up with what's there. And in it, and I can take and hold my head up high in the city of Los Angeles. I have a lot of ideas that I want to take and work with the work with some of the leaders in Los Angeles. I've just got to get out there and i got to get out, get, get the courage to talk to them. There's the homeless problem. There is the traffic problem. I have a lot of ideas with traffic, homelessness. I just need to get out there and start working. That's all I have to say for the day. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below. I think I think I'm doing this the wrong way. I I think I think it's the other way. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to subscribe to this to my channel, hit the subscribe button below. And if you'd like to be notified of any future videos, please hit the little bell icon. And, uh, and you'll be notified of any future videos I have to have, I'll be making. I'll, I do make these videos on Sunday and on Wednesdays. On Wednesday, I might do something a li little bit different. But I enjoy making these videos. And I will see you later.